What is up guys, it's Jay here, Jmedia1, and we are back with another product review. Today we got the HomePod. This is the HomePod Mini, and we got the one in orange because we just really like orange around here. But they come in several different colors. They come in a white, they come in like a teal color, or like a blue. They come in a yellow, and they also come in a black. And uh, I just think it's really cool what Apple's done with this thing. They've managed to pack a lot of sound out of this little tiny speaker. So we're gonna take a look at it. This is straight from Apple. And it comes in a box just like this. Nothing, nothing too different from Apple and what they normally do. Uh, we just gotta get through some of this plastic here. So we're gonna cut through that. We're gonna open it up here. Get rid of that. So once we cut through the plastic, we have just a HomePod in the box. And if you slide it down just like this, it'll pop out. And it kind of sits on that pedestal there, just like that. This thing's pretty tiny, guys. It's only this big, you can see in my hand. It's a little guy, but it's really cool and they're able to pack a lot of sound. What I do like is the cord. If we get this wrapping off here, we can see that the cord is this super thick and strong braided cable. You can literally hold the speaker by it. So this is a really nice, nice cable here. And it is USB-C, which is very, very cool. There's also a tab here that you pull off. Once you do that, you reveal the Apple logo underneath. So that's pretty nice. So that's it. If we throw the cord back there, you can see it right there. And it does have the similar touch buttons to the regular size HomePod, which is much bigger. I mean, you're talking about a lot more mass out of that guy. If you look inside of here, there's a little pull tab. So you get that out of the way. And then there's some reading material. Classic Apple stuff, just disclosures, things like that. Little quick setup guide. It's really easy if you have an iPhone to set these up because they just auto connect. They got a chip inside of them that allows them to do that, which makes it really nice. You can pull this tab apart and we got the little sticker inside of here. You got the regular little Apple sticker and it is white, which is cool. And then it does come with a brick. This is not gonna be a super strong high capacity brick. It's only 20 watts, but it is something, right? So it's kind of cool. Get that off of there. You can see it's just a standard Apple brick in order to charge it. So that's it, nothing else inside of the box, but this thing does pack some sound. Now the cool thing is, is if you have a, a tablet or something, you can plug this directly into that. You can also plug this directly into your, your Mac if you like. So you can plug it right into that USB slot on there and it'll get loaded up that way too, which is very cool. You can also just plug it into the standard power brick, but you can see as soon as we do that, the light comes on and it starts to flash here because it wants to pair. So we can pair it with whatever we want. We can pair it with our, uh, our phone or we can pair it with our Mac. And this thing will also connect to our network so that we can control things in our home with it and you can use it as a home hub as well, which is very nice if you got some smart home appliances or devices that you want to control. This thing will act as a hub for those through your home app on your Apple phone. So that's really, really cool. You can hear it come on like that. It sounds really cool. And if you notice, it pops right up and it says HomePod Mini Setup. So you just click on Setup and you can name it whatever you want wherever you're going to end up putting it. So you just hit continue. It'll ask you to use personal requests. So you can use Siri on your HomePod to access your messages, reminders, calendar events, and more when this phone is nearby. And your voice is recognized, which this is a really cool feature. So we're going to go ahead and use those. And Siri can recognize voices for each person in the home and provide access to their own music, which is another cool feature. So we're going to continue that. And we can transfer our settings. So we can center the HomePod right there in our frame and it's going to recognize it. Once it does that, it's going to load up all the features and get everything set up on the HomePod. Very cool how Apple does this and this is why I'm so enthralled with their ecosystem because everything is just super easy to set up and use like this. And once you are in that ecosystem, everything talks to each other. Literally everything that they have can talk to each other and that makes it super, super nice. So we're going to allow that to set up and we're going to talk about some more cool features of this uh, device as well. 
So the cool thing about, about this too is it's jam-packed with innovation. This HomePod has huge sound for the size. I mean, this thing's super small like we were talking about. It's just 3.3 inches tall. That's it. And it takes up almost no space, which is what we really love about it. Um, and it's done. You can see that it just finished up there. So it takes up almost no space in your room, but it gives you that 360 degree audio as well. And so it's a more expansive sound and it just sounds really, really good. So we're gonna give you an example of what it sounds like. I gotta find some royalty free music here. You can hear it right there as soon as we load up the music, it's already starting. turn this down because this thing that was full blast and that is extremely loud and I'm controlling everything with, uh, with my phone which is very cool you can also control everything on this the cool thing is is you can you can hit the minus buttons on the side and turn the volume down or the plus button on the top and turn it back up you could also hit the middle of it on top and that will allow you to talk to Siri so you could switch music if you if you like to. So there's different options there as well. It's all it's all backlit on top of here as you can see and it's all touch surface which is very very cool. Um, you can do handoffs so you can hand off your music to this if you're if you're listening to some music and you walk into the room where this is you can go back and you can do a handoff and it'll transfer that music to the HomePod Mini in that regard. So that is very, very cool. The cool thing is, is the, the Siri feature. You can say, hey Siri to it, and it'll, it'll react to that, which is very, very cool. And uh, you basically have all the features that you do on the HomePod in this little tiny mini speaker which is still extremely loud and very, very good sounding. You can hear the bass right there. Sounds great. The cool thing I like too, is that it'll recognize different people inside of the house. So if you're talking to it versus if your wife's talking to it, it will recognize different members. Uh, you can do intercom with this thing. So like you can have a, one in your living room, one in your bedroom, one in your bathroom, one in your dining room, one in your den, wherever you want to put them, and then you have an intercom. So you can, you can tell Siri to announce a message to the entire house, and it will through the speakers, which is very cool. Um, if you want to, you can say, uh, hey Siri, announce something, and it will announce that to the specific speaker in your house. And so it just tried to activate Siri there. I could see by the light okay. on top. Intercom to everyone in my home. There you go. So it's trying to intercom to everyone in the home, which is very cool. And it's also got a lot of privacy protection built into it too. It only listens for Hey Siri, so you can speak freely. You don't have to worry about anything that you say being picked up in the meantime. Um, it works with your phone for requests, like hearing your messages, your notes so that they are completed on the device without revealing that information to Apple, which is very cool. Um, and then you can get this thing for about 99 bucks. I mean, it's super cheap and they even offer six months of financing if you really have to go that route with it. Uh, there isn't much else as far as the build. You're gonna just pick the color and that's it. I mean, there's no other you know upgrades or things like that. They are what they are. But I thought I would share this with you guys because I think it's very cool. I think it's a great upgrade from the actual HomePod. And you guys can hear just how loud it gets. I mean, it, it really does get loud. For such a small speaker, Siri just, or Apple just does a really good job. It, uh, Apple does a really good job with their speakers. Everything, whether it's their laptops, their phones, or their, their mini speakers like this. They do a really good job. You can see it, just touch it. I think it would get super distorted at that volume, but it doesn't. It's got really
really good bass, really good mids, all kinds of cool things. So for 99 bucks, you can't go wrong with this speaker at all, guys. It's gonna work, and it's gonna work well with uh, your Apple devices. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash the like button, always subscribe to the channel, because we're always coming up with new tech reviews all the time, and we will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.